infinite love. I know that absolutely nothing is just a coincidence. Time magazine shows North Africa as the new grow zone with the title of The Great Reset. The World Economic Forum and the International Monetary Fund have both been talking about the Great Reset. There is great chaos of the mind everywhere. Suffering is exponentially growing simply because people can feel that things are never coming back to normal. Suffering multiplies when one can't see a solution, sometime in the relative near future. There is no hope, and with no hope, suffering grows and depression sets in. I will remind the wise ones looking at my videos that there is only one solution. I will touch on this at the end of this video. Hola from Colombia. With the present great world confusion, I wish to do my part to accelerate the evolution of human consciousness. Please help by subscribing and sharing these videos. Thank you. Let's look closer at the Time Magazine front cover picture. David Devine from Adapt 2030 channel has been talking a lot about the African Sahel. In this photo, the cut out earth section is North Africa. An enormous amount of crop can be grown in the African Sahel because of the underground aquifers being formed. There is 13.8 million square kilometers of agricultural land there, even though it appears as desert right now. Across all of North America, there's only 9.8 square kilometers of agricultural land. Compare that with 13.8 in the African Sahel, and over in the Sahel, there will be dual crops per year. Back to the cover picture. To the left is a man putting a plant. There's a scientist in a white lab coat to evaluate which plant species would give the biggest yields. Then we see the financing person. And finally, the engineers needed for developing roads, canals, ports, and electrification. All the elements are inside this picture. Looking closer, it is clear that we are looking at a hollow earth. There is the potential of life and civilization inside the earth. The article in Time magazine, it's 2023. Here's how we fixed the global economy. In the summer of 2022, the other major crisis of our age took a turn for the apocalyptic. Climate breakdown finally landed in the developed world, testing the resilience of social systems, in the Midwestern U.S., a severe drought wiped out crops that supplied one-sixth of the world's grain output. People woke up to the need of governments to form a coordinated response to climate change and direct global fiscal stimulus support of a green economy. Here is the map of the Sahel. It is the central part of North Africa. Massive floods have been going on in this part of the world. This is the Great Renaissance Dam in Ethiopia, the biggest dam in Africa to provide hydroelectric power in one of the driest areas of the world. So how did they know that there will be water accumulated in the driest part of the world? I may cover this question in a future video. Now, there is the Nubian sandstone aquifer, one of the most notable fossil water reserves. This aquifer is several thousand cubic kilometers, not square kilometers, but cubic kilometers of water underneath. For the last couple of years, there has been a huge increase in the above ground precipitation because of the shifting West African monsoon. 
The flooding across Africa since 2017 has been massive. This is the capital of Chad, completely flooded. This is so far above what the normal is that the precipitation shift cannot be denied. I can't even begin to think about the suffering these people are going through. Here is the map of the other massive aquifers in North Africa, Central Africa and the Sahel. These can all be connected with canals and pipes through engineering and funds to do it. With North Africa, the underground wa water is the key. A stable coin will be needed to be able to trade through the nations. Obviously, there is where the cryptocurrency comes in. This area can easily be transformed into the largest breast basket on the planet. This particular picture from the Time magazine is definitely disturbing to me. If I was not connected to my true self, I would definitely be living a huge level of fear right now. All those syringes and the medication right up front is sending shivers up my spine. No matter what the elite plan is, food is going to be needed. In order to produce food in the Grand Solar Minimum, when many of the northern and southern areas are going offline, huge changes are necessary. In my previous video, I talked about that everything starts January 25th, 2021. Please check it out. I had to make the very challenging decision of leaving Canada for good and going into the complete unknown back in 2015. Today, I'm on a farm surrounded with food, with an immense potential. With all of this surrounding us, my roommate and I continue to suffer episodes of fear related to lack of money. Even though I know who I am, and I try to share the personocratic consciousness in order to do my part in guiding individuals on their accelerated evolutionary journey towards paradise on earth, I will be the first to admit that this journey is extremely challenging. The solution is very simple. I must connect to my true self, my soul. Easy to say, not so easy to do. Please go into action now and make the choice between listening to your ego mendacious mind and the external authorities or listening to your soul, the internal authority. I consult and offer tools so that you can find your individual solution by making contact with your soul. You can then evolve in consciousness more effectively. Infinite love.